Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bartholomew. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Microsoft Excel to do a movie in Vector. You can do a lot of things in Microsoft Excel. You can do calculation in Microsoft Excel. You can do your family budget, day-to-day -day activities, staff payroll, net payroll, anything you want to do that contains a table or calculation, graphic, you're also going to do it in Microsoft Excel. But today I'm going to select one from them which is moving vector. I'm going to show you guys how to put in your data and how to run a moving inventory in Microsoft Excel. I want you to follow this video to the end so that you are not going to miss any steps and guidelines I'm going to show you guys. It's very, very important for the beginners and people who are finding it very difficult to operate in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to make it very simple today so that you will not be able to find anything difficult again. All right, thank you. All right, let's start. Once you open your window, your computer to display like this like i said in my previous video you can go to start bar to select the program which you want to run which is micro soft as a it will now come out you go and click on it it will open then maybe you don't want to go to that steps you want to go with shortcuts then you can close this one you just open your system then you can go to this place pass bar this, this this place this start bar then you can select your program which is you can see microsoft as well here you can just select it okay so depending on the way that i should want to use so for the beginners you have to go to start bar here and select your program micro soft as a all right i open then go to this area and maximize it all right today we are going to learn how to use microsoft for to do movie inventory okay we are going to use know how to use it to do movie inventory so since you have known some tools in microsoft excel it's very very simple and you just have to pay attention you have all your tools here with you then you have known the role which is this area and you have known your column which is this area also know that your role is made up of alphabetical keys okay why your columns is made up of numeric keys you can see your numbers you can see your numbers your column is made up of your numeric keys then the role here is made up of alphabetical keys then we want to do movie in vector now what you have to do now is this first of all just type movie inventory inventory so you don't need to worry because your movie inventory entered the next cell B so you don't need to worry bothering you know shifting or not you just all you have to do is to ignore it and continue what you are doing so that you will not get distracted then under input title this one about table arranging your table moving those movie inventory in microsoft excel so look at how it goes it's very very simple just pay attention then you go to the right direction and put that purchase so you it will be more easy for you to be making use of your keyboard direction you know it's very very important you become more close with your keyboard whenever you are operating in microsoft excel because using your mouse will become so lazy for you to be using okay the most fastest way is for you to use your keyboard and use your direction just direct it you can see this uh date purchase enter the next cells of c so i don't need to worry maybe you'll be thinking about it the purchase enter inside the other cell so how am i going to type you don't need to worry once you are typing it will give a space but you are going to arrange it later not now so all you have to do is to continue what you are doing writing value this one also enter the list like you don't need to worry just go who general then i'm put location right so just continue what i'm doing just keep on putting your data then you can put the movie title 
the title of the movie, maybe any one, any movie, any title. Then time uh, the name of the movie you want to put Mondo. Okay. Mm. Okay, maybe the home movie name you want to put uh, is uh, Commando for now. So all you have to do now, if you want to, you cannot just be putting Commando, or, you know, just be putting it. It's waste of time. All you have to do is to go to this area, click here, and use this symbol and drag it down. Okay, maybe to 14. You can see. Then just shift to the dates, date purchase. Just put it, just maybe 2000, 2009. Depending on how you want to arrange your own table, maybe you have your own table listed out for you. You are seeing it, you have already drawn it out, you want to put it here. Once you are looking at it, you know what you are doing and be putting in the data in the table. So I'm just using this one as an example. By writing values a pg just let's see all of them is pg pg writing values pg pg january jerry means you know what's the overall about it's a fantasy fantasy and children children so maybe just there is a, your location any place you want to put as your location this is just an example so when you are doing your own you would already have the list of the moving vectory you want to you know construct in your microsoft excel so this is just an example how you are going to be putting it All right just drag this down you can see what i'm doing good now you have finished typing now because if you are just typing and shifting it will be costing you a lot of time now you have finished typing, all you have to do now is to shift this. How are we going to do it? You want to shift all this and make it, you can see the commando here, you can see it's not showing well. All you have to do is just highlight all of them. How do you highlight? You use this particular block symbol, block sign here, you can see in the mouse, turn to block, okay? You hold it in this title and drag it to this edge and use it in do other place. Then all you have to do to go straight to this point. This is where you want to shift. You click here, double click on it to shift. Double click on this one to shift. Same thing goes to this one. Double click on this one. It will shift. This area, same thing. This area, the same thing. You see, you have end up formatting all after typing. Because if you are typing and formatting, it will be costing you much. Okay? So all you have to do is to understand that once you are typing, you don't need to mind what is going on. You just focus on what you are typing. After you finish typing, you just arrange it. So now I have arranged this. Then you still want to format it a little bit. You know, want to differentiate the title and date purchase, rating, value, general allocation from other ones. So all you have to do is to highlight this particular one. Still the same thing as Word. Then you go to this place, just increase the size a little bit. Click this area, include the size a little bit. Maybe you want to give it uh, maybe 11 and choose the font you like. Any font you like, you want to, you know, just any one you like to use. Then, then you can see it. I have crossed this line again. You won't be also just highlight it. Make sure you click here. Click here as well. Click here as well. Click here. It will fit in everywhere. So this is your topic, which is movie inventory. Okay. You still need to format this. Then you can format the little bit so that it will be more different from other ones. All right. So once you are done typing your title date purchase writing value once you finish filling in the space so all you have to do is to uh, you know format this particular area you will make it to come at the center how are you going to do that you just click from here 
just go outside the box because this is the box that contains this moving industry, moving vector. If you want to highlight from this box, it will not highlight. All you have to do is to move outside the box. Just highlight it. Then just go to march to center or use this place if you come to center a bit okay you can also format it by giving it any color you want you go to this place just give it a color so it will become nice okay just give it a color so this is all about movie inventory so we still have some other programs i'm going to teach you guys in my next video today we only learn about movie inventory there are so many times you ask yourself a question why won't you do this in microsoft word why you do it here more perfectly is that this one already have a table you can be able to insert as many as you want in this particular area you can see in this place you have your worksheet already now i'm making use of one we already, we already have three worksheets here one two three if i still want to insert and insert worksheet i'll be clicking in this area more worksheet will be coming out. More worksheet will be coming out. Okay, maybe I want to do in work. Sis, then look at the previous work I was doing. Okay, so this is all about Microsoft Excel. It's very very simple. Time to time, we show you guys the guidelines and everything you need to know in Microsoft Excel. Mainly your calculations and other table work. I will show you guys how to go going to do it in my next video. Thanks for your time today. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you share and like the page.